let's look at this question guys this is a doppler effect exam question it says here an ambulance with a siren on moves away it's very important at a constant velocity from a person standing next to the road so it moves away very important we know our way is going to be um, minus divide by plus right so now and it's sitting the person standing next to the road that means the velocity of the listener is zero now the person measures the frequency which is 90 percent of the frequency of the sound emitted by the siren of an ambulance this makes sense because the person is moving away so if the person moves away that means the frequency of the listener it should be less than the frequency of the source so that less it's what it's 90 percent right now this simply means that the frequency of the listener is 90 percent of the frequency of the what of the source so um, that means the person perceived the frequency that is less now it says name the phenomena observed this phenomena is a doppler effect it's a Doppler effect. Now, it says here, if the speed of the sound in the air is 340, this is V, calculate the speed of an ambulance. So we want the velocity of the, um, the speed or the, the velocity of an ambulance, right? So we will use the formula that FL is equal to um, V minus divide, VL divide by plus VS multiply by fs so now the frequency of the listener we have here it's going to be if you put that it's going to be 90 times 90 percent times fl so it's 90 percent you divide by 100 so this is going to be 90 over 100 because it's in percentage right times fs right and then we are told that the velocity of the speed in the air is 340 340 um, minus the velocity of the listener is the one that we want and the velocity of the source now the velocity of the listener is zero velocity of the listener is zero and the velocity of the source is the one that we want right not the listener here uh, times by the frequency the frequency of the source we are not given it's fx as this is not going to be a simultaneous equation because we don't have the FL and FS, but we are told in percentage form that the frequency of the listener is 90% of the source, so we have to multiply that. So, <clears throat> this is going to be a math now. So, this is going to be 340 FS divided by, um, okay, even... Besides that, we can say 340 plus Vs times Fs, 90 divided by 100 times Fs. So the Fs and the Fs will cancel there. So you're going to be left with 90 over 100 is equal to 340, <coughs> sorry, divided by um, 340 plus um, Vs. And then we cross multiply there. So cross multiplying there, so you're going to have 90 times 340 plus Vs equal to 100 times by 340, right? And then since our unknown is in this side, so we'll divide by 90. So we'll divide by 90 both sides, so we'll have that. So we'll have a 340 my plus Vs equal to, and then it's going to be 100. So that is going to be um, 3,400 times by 100. It's going to be, <coughs> I don't want to assume. So it's going to be 3,400. No, 3,400, where do I get the 3,400? It's 340. It's 340, 340 times by 100, it's 34,000, right? It's 34,000 divided by 90, and then we transpose the 340 to that side. So we'll have the Vs is equal to 
um, 34,000 uh, 34, divided by 90 minus 340. So 34,000 divided by 90 um, minus um, 340. So the answer, the answer here, The answer here, Vs, is equal to 37,78 meter per second. That's the velocity of the source, velocity of an ambulance. Guys, starting from here, the physics ended here. And then the rest, it was maths up until here. If you have a different way to do that, you can do that. Okay, now um, that was the end of the calculation, guys. I hope that makes sense. Cheers. Bye.